I'm Bart Moss Sinclair. This is The Amateur Academic, a YouTube channel where we take topics, turn them into lectures, and turn you to an amateur academic. This time on The Amateur Academic, we have a new segment called Ask the Amateur Academic, where we take questions from the viewers from Facebook, Twitter, or Quora. And if they're cool questions, and quite frankly, if I can answer them, I'll turn them into a video presentation much like this one. Our first question comes from the platform Quora, and it is, how does blockchain technology work? That's a very difficult question to answer because a lot of people don't even know what blockchain technology is. And secondly, if they do, they don't know how it works. They might have heard of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, but it seems very complicated but we're going to break it down into three easy steps so that you too can understand this. Step number one, database. It's all about the database. What is a database? A database stores indexed data. It is usually stored on a server, so it is centrally located so that users can access it. But what happens when you don't trust anyone to host your database? What happens when you don't even trust other users? How can you build a database of trust in an environment where there isn't any? That's where blockchain technology comes in. Instead of a database stored centrally on a specific computer, it is distributed to many computers called nodes. The advantage is that no one particular party is required to be trusted. The blockchain itself is a database structure that lists ordered timestamp records, which are referred to as blocks, and it can continuously add these blocks. These blocks, once written, have a read-only permission so that they cannot be altered. They also contain a reference to the previous block. The contents of the blocks are public. They can contain a ledger of transactions, like with cryptocurrency, they can be used for managing any type of trusted record of events or people. But that still doesn't answer the question, how does blockchain technology actually work? And of course, that's the slightly complicated part. It involves a lot of mathematics. But to cut a long story long, once the events are recorded, the blocks need to be verified by the nodes to be added to the blockchain. This verification is where the mathematics comes in and the cryptography comes in with hashing. What is hashing? Simply put, hashing is a mathematical algorithm designed to only encode a message one way through a mapping by a function. The only way to decode the results called the message digest of the hash function is by a brute force method trying out possibilities at random to see if they match. This is what makes blockchain technology so secure. The blocks hold the recorded time-stamped events which are hashed and encoded into a tree branching like structure. Each block includes the hash of the previous block, hence it is a blockchain of hashes. I think that's a pretty good description for understanding how blockchain technology works. What's maybe more interesting to some people is the future of blockchain technology, which in my opinion looks very bright. It might take a bit longer to catch on than experts think, but it will. It could help us improve voting and direct democracy, decentralized banking, make microloans for individuals in developing countries easier, offer a better way to buy and sell shares in companies, create contracts. In general, this kind of technology could change power structures as we know them. And that's why there's a lot of people working on this technology, both within and out of the system. Many companies are investing in startups working in the financial technology, fintech, and a lot of other ARP starts are out there trying to use this technology to change and better humanity. I'm Bart Moss St. Clair, and this is The Amateur Academic. Please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to check out our other videos.